have such a messy room and you don't even realise because I took the camera so you can't see anything except like the top of my bed where I put the cushions out properly. Secrets of magic of making things. Hello humans! Today has not been the best day, not gonna lie. Haven't really enjoyed today as much as I could have and I don't feel afraid to say that because it should be fine to say that you haven't had a great day and for people to ask you how you're going it should be culturally okay to say oh, I'm actually not that great because bottling up emotions doesn't actually help anything and lying to others only makes you lie to yourself which only leads to mental illness so sorry for not being the person you thought I was or you wanted me to be that got really dark and really serious but I think I kind of needed to say that my bubble wrap. But obviously, being sad and feeling gross is not fun, not something you want to do, not a great place to be in. So today I'm going to walk you through a couple of things you can do if you are feeling sad or gross to kind of cheer yourself back up again because cheering yourself up is what is good in life. Good stuff. This is basically just my cheat sheet on how to feel better after a bad day. The first thing you can do is look at pictures of alpacas. Might sound odd, might sound left field, might just sound stupid, but it's so helpful. It is so helpful. My really good friend Amanda has always wanted a dog. So we decided that when we move out, we're gonna get a dog and it's gonna be fluffy and we're gonna call it Theodore Frederick Smith. Something really posh and then just like plain tech. But the other day, completely out of the blue, she sent me this text and she's like, Bella, what if instead of getting a dog, we get a baby alpaca? That is, that is literally what she said to me, a baby alpaca. And I was like, um, why? And then she sends me this photo, which just explains everything. Yes, let's get a baby alpaca. Who wouldn't want a baby alpaca? Look how cute it is. Alpacas are just great. Just all the alpacas. Every single one. The next thing you can do to cheer yourself up is look at photos from really good times. I have a corkboard above my desk that has three photos of good times. And it's just really good to kind of have that visual reminder that things are good. There are people that care about you. The light at the end of this tunnel. Shine a light at the end of this tunnel for you. Look how cute my friends are. Look at them. Look at them. This is when we went to um, this guy. Hey, Alex Clegg. Happy 18th from a while ago. And then that was all the crew that go to my school. Different grades. That's Amanda. That's the one that likes alpacas with me. I also have a whole bunch of photos just printed out on cards um, because for an art assignment a couple years ago I made this wall of photos and it was kind of like what society says I am and then I cut down the string. I don't know what happened to that footage but um, that was a thing that I did. The next thing you can do to get cheerful again is find a small furry creature and hug it. Now whether that be an animal or a stuffed toy, both work. I prefer my dog, but that's just me. Like, I don't know what you prefer to do with your life. Just do you. You do you. I'm gonna leave the confines of my room and go and find my dog. This could be really interesting. I hear a dog shaking. I hear a dog. There he is! Hello! Hello? No, I need... Come here. Come here. Come here. Obi, I need you to embrace me. Come here. Hello. Hello. Good boy. Come here. No. You are just... You're ruining everything. You're literally ruining everything. And last but certainly not least, another thing that you can do to feel instantly better is to watch funny videos online. I recently discovered that Facebook has this feature where you can actually save videos into this little folder on your Facebook account to go back to. So all the vines that people tag me in, I can now save them and come back to them for future reference. This has literally revolutionized my life. I have a range of vines that I watch on a regular basis when I'm feeling down. Like the turtle and the Bee Gees, and it's the Bee Gees guy who's like, Stay alive, stay alive, and then it's a turtle going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and it's so good. Or well, there's the one, and it's also a turtle, and it's Coldplay, and it's that song that's like, he, ah, and then there's a turtle at the end going, ah. <laughs> and I literally watch 
watch it over and over and over again and kill myself laughing. So you guys, that's it for this video. I hope that it actually helped maybe one or two of you. Hopefully all of you found this helpful. I'm rambling. It honestly is okay to not be okay. And I feel like we as a society and as an internet collective don't encourage those that are having bad days. I feel like when people need to express their emotions, we're fine with that, but as long as they're entertaining emotions. I wrote a blog post about this at the beginning of the year when um, my dog died, and I feel like, yeah, people just don't want to hear it. And I feel like we, as a group of people that pride ourselves on being welcoming and encouraging of everyone from any corner of the world that can hook up their laptop to Wi-Fi, you know, we still have this stigma of, unless your day went great, I don't want to hear about it. Which is really stupid and I kind of dislike that a lot. Because being sad is not being self-seeking. Having a bad day is not necessarily a publicity stunt. And I feel like we haven't really cottoned on to that yet. And that's something that we all need to work on. If you are having a bad day and want to talk to someone, I love to talk. So all my social media links are down below. Like my Facebook page if you haven't, because I will often share those vines I was talking about. So yeah. I love you all. I hope you're having a really good day. And if you're not, I hope that it gets better. And goodbye. I reapplied lipstick to film this video. I hope it hasn't gotten like significantly darker since I started filming. Because that would be really, 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 really awkward. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. Probably going to have a hell of a lot of footage that I don't know what to do with once I actually go back through this. Okay.